Well, show choir students at East High School in Green Bay will be arriving to school earlier than usual today. That's because they're headed to Nashville for a national competition, but they also plan to roll up their sleeves and do some good while they're down there. Local Five's Calvin Lewis is live in Green Bay with more on their plans. Calvin, good morning. Shelly Naked Morning, guys. That's exactly right. The show choir here at Green Bay East High School, they've been raising or Gathering items, I should say, relief items for those affected by the tornadoes over in Nashville. We've been granted special access inside the choir room here this morning. Join alongside the show choir director himself, Kevin Flogel. Kevin, thank you so much for joining us this morning. No problem. First of all, I want to ask you, what, what made you guys want to do this in the first place? Um, well, you know, we've been working a whole year just to go to this competition, and when we woke up Tuesday morning and we're unsure if it was even going to happen anymore, and when we found out we were still going to be able to go, knowing that we're going to Music City, uh, you know, that brings us what we do, um, and a lot of our kids are on student council and the groups in school who always get involved in community actions, they're like, we should do something to help this community since they're still allowing us to come in and, and do this competition. Um, so within a quick time frame, you know, Lowe put it out to all of our alumni families who are in town saying, hey, if you want to help out, we have our family vans that are following the bus. Uh, we're going to load up with any room we have um, and hit the Red Cross when we get down there um, and help donate um, and get items to them as quickly as possible. What was the response like from the student body? Was this something that they approached you with or was this something like a, a, a collective effort. Um, it was kind of collective, but it, when we got here Tuesday afternoon for our final rehearsal, finally knowing we are going, you know, they brought it up. They're like, well, do you think we could do, do we have space? You know, could we do something to help the community while we're going um, to take advantage, um, you know, and just to do a good deed, which we like to do as a school community, because we know if it happened to us, we would appreciate, you know, people helping us out in our community. And obviously the big show choir in Nashville, you guys are looking forward to that. Just tell me a little bit about, uh, you know, overall expectations for, you know, this week. And it, I guess where specifically will those items be going towards? Um, we plan on contacting the Red Cross when we get down there to set up a time, hopefully tomorrow morning, uh, before all of our activities kick in, so that the students themselves um, can go to the Red Cross and be involved in seeing um, and helping to hand off, um, you know, so they kind of get involved in the whole thing and get to see, you know, kind of in a grand style and educational for them to, you know, if they haven't been hit by anything like this, you know, it's a, again part of our job, helping them be ready to be in the world when they get out of high school. Um, it'll just be a really cool experience. Uh, so we're hoping tomorrow morning that we as a group can go together um, to drop off those items before our day gets rolling and get involved in our other activities. Okay, great stuff there, Kevin. Thank you so much again no for problem. joining us this morning. The bus leaves at about 6.15 later this morning. You can find more information if you'd like to help out those affected over on our website, wearegreenbay.com.